Hey, what's up? Apparently, GameStop sales went down 9% with Sony announced PlayStation Now. And, um, I, well, shit, they in like a big panic. And here's my thing here. They knew that Sony person, Gaikai, like last, well, shit, well, back in 2012 for like, I think 30, what, $350 million, some shit like that. And, um, they just now panicking about that. I mean, I'm not sold by PlayStation Now. You know, I want no people that this bitter right now. Like a, a person that actually collect games that love physical discs. If you see stuff like this, you know that it's gonna go the way. I mean, if you get like all the games you want to play for like a reasonable subscription, like let's say for instance they make it like Amazon Prime, seventy nine ninety nine a year. You can play all of the library of games that you want to play, or like some games that's free to play, or some games that. That comes with construction or some games that actually come with like an extra, like nine or ten or you know fifteen dollars to play it. You know, like how Amazon playing, you can look at free games. I mean, free movies and and some you gotta pay for. It, you know, just to have. But it, it could be just like that. Who know how they're gonna do it? But you know, could this actually destroy GameStop? GameStop just running around going crazy like if they could just download a game directly. Well, we could download it anyway, but it's actually rent games and stream games from Carlisle. Nobody will actually go to our stores. I mean, GameStop might be like um, Blockbuster Video eventually. And truthfully, I really don't go to GameStop like that. I'm more of a Amazon type guy. But I'm just saying, you know, I go, like, if I want to reserve like like a lot of games coming out at once, I reserve them at GameStop and pay them off like a layer of you know. <laughs> but um, this is you know, this this is a blow to collectors, though. Me, personally, I collect games. I get a lot of them. And now I see places now, I'm looking at my PS2 collection, I could use, a, like, a good 15 more RPGs that I was traded while I was younger. So, like, let me get, let me re-get those if I could put those, like, get full of them or whatever. I guess I'm going to re-get those while the price is, is not high. Because... Most of the games are like twenty to ten bucks and shit like that on Amazon. I'll let me get them before they turn to a hundred dollars, like some of the PS1 games, you know. So I guess I'm gonna be going PS2 and PS3 shopping for uh, most of this year, due to the fact that PS4 have no games that I want to play right now, besides Infamous and um, Watch Dogs and Order 1886, I believe that's what you call that, and Destiny. That's uh, like four fucking games. Other than that, it'll be just nothing but backlog PS3 games and PS2 games for me. But, um, no, I really don't play PS2 games, to be honest with you. Most of the games I be, I just want to get them and put them back in my collection where they belong. Like, some games I probably might actually, like, real relive and actually play them. But, most of the games I would be buying, I mostly beat in already. Or some I didn't beat. I still got to save data, I probably might want to beat them games, but, yeah, why not? But tell me what you guys think. You think it's the end of GameStop, and you can read the um the article in the description below. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. My peace.